So the objectives of this lecture is that how are urinary tract infections in pregnancy diagnosed and why is this early diagnosis important? What is the burden of these UTI in pregnancies and how they are classified? What is the significance of this classification? We will also discuss the effects of UTI in pregnancy on mother and baby. We will also find out who should be screened and who should be put on antibiotic therapy. What is the choice of antibiotic therapy? and what are the areas in which there is insufficient evidence and what are the future research prospects of urinary tract infections in pregnancy. So there is a definition given by ICD which says that urinary tract infections are the infections affecting the structures participating in the secretion and elimination of urine which include the kidney, ureters, urinary bladder and urethra. Now how do we define recurrent urinary tract infection? It is defined as one UTI before or during pregnancy in a non-pregnant woman, recurrence is defined as three infections in the previous 12 months or two episodes in the last six months. So recurrent UTI in a pregnancy is defined as one UTI episode before or during this pregnancy. What is bacteriological persistence? It is continued bacteriuria with the same species even 48 hours after the initiation of treatment. What is relapse in urinary tract infection? It is said to have an infection relapse when the organism that we previously treated and now two weeks after the treatment also it, that organism has been identified. What is reinfection? Reinfection is only a true recurrence. It is a urinary tract infection which occurs after sterilization of the urine with an organism originating from outside the urinary tract, either a new bacterial strain or a strain previously isolated that has persisted in colonizing flora more than two weeks after the treatment. Now coming to the classification. Classification is important because it helps us to make clinical decisions. And classification of UTI is based upon the clinical presentations, the level at which the urinary tract is infected. The classification can be based on the severity of infection. Classification can be based upon the underlying risk factors and another point added is the microorganism which is the causing pathogen. So these urinary tract infections are ascending in nature and these microorganisms move from perineal region and vagina. Therefore, it can cause urethra that is urethritis, it can infect bladder, it is called cystitis, it can infect kidney when it is called pyelonephritis or it can infect the bloodstream when it is called as Eurosepsis. So infection can also be grouped as upper tract or lower tract urinary tract infections and kidney is a threshold between these two levels. So cystitis are regarded as lower tract infections whereas pyelonephritis is regarded as upper tract infection. So this is the way to classify them. So what we are seeing here is the uh, clinical presentation. So patient can be having urethritis, cystitis, patient can have pyelonephritis, urosepsis or involvement of the male genital glands. Among the grades of severity, we can have grade 1 when it is low uh, cystitis, then we can have pyelonephritis moderate degree, grade 3 is pyelonephritis severe and established, grade 4 is urosepsis with systemic inflammatory response syndrome. Grade 5 is urosepsis with organ dysfunction and grade 6 UTI is urosepsis with organ failure. So other risk factors can also be identified when there is no recurrent, uh, no renal failure, when there is a recurrent UTI with renal failure, when there is an extra urogenital renal failure, when there is nephropathic renal failure, urological renal failure and catheter renal failure. So pathogens, based on the pathogens, there can be various uh, species involved with varying degrees of susceptibility. So pathogens can be susceptible or the pathogens can have reduced susceptibility to our antibiotics or pathogens could be multi-resistant. So this system will classify urinary tract infection in male and females and therefore male genital organs under clinical pre presentation is not there in our pregnancy with UTI. So this is the ICD-10 classification of the urinary tract infection. So severity, you know, it can be grade 1 to 6. So grade 1 is low severity cystitis, grade 2 is pyelonephritis with moderate symptoms, grade 3 is established pyelonephritis with severe symptoms, 
grade 4 is urosepsis with cysts, grade 5 is urosepsis with organ failure and grade 6 is urosepsis with organ failure and grade 5 is urosepsis with organ dysfunction and grade 6 is urosepsis with organ failure.